Today we're going to talk about the Scarhoy TVS E21. It's a little tiny controller. It's so small, in fact, that it fits in this little case here with the switchblade unit. So in this tiny little clamshell case, I have a two input VMIX switcher and a control surface which can handle up to six different inputs. So I'm going to put these together and we're going to go over why this little tiny controller is so amazing. I've hooked up the E21 TVS via Ethernet, and that allows it to communicate with any of the devices that are on the network that it's configured to use. So we've set it up by telling it where exactly the vMix system is and what we want it to be doing. I've set it up in a tr fairly traditional fashion uh, to start with. Uh, there's a program row and there's a preview bus, and I'm going to go press the different program bus so I can cut between those inputs. Preview, same thing, cut and auto behave as expected. There's also a slider which lets you transition between your program and preview. Now that makes the Scarhoy controller a very nice portable controller for controlling your different inputs, but it's so much more uh, flexible than just a traditional um, push button control surface. What I can do with it is I've set it up in the cores.scarhoy website to also be able to control a PTZ optics controller, which uh, camera, which is what we have aimed at us today. So I've set up, since I only have four inputs, I've set up inputs five and six to also be presets. So I told the, the, um, the controller where the camera is, and when I hit uh, preset five, it goes down to what I've set it, set it to. And when it goes to preset six, it comes back up to me. So this one controller has been configured to control not one, but two devices. In this extremely small form factor, it's got an awful lot of value. It also has two buttons at the top here that I've configured as uh, overlay sources. So if I wanted to bring my input up and then use the overlay to bring up another input or a graphic, I can have it trigger those two overlay channels. And that is all within this form factor. And it doesn't have to be just the um, just set up as program and preview. We could set these 12 uh, inputs up to be anything that we want. We could set them up to be a 12 input switcher. We could set it up so that the bottom row is our cameras and the top six are camera presets. Or we could set them up to run an AJA router or an ATEM switcher. It's an extremely flexible piece of equipment. So in this extremely small form factor, it makes it um, an ideal addition to uh, the Switchblade Splice and Flick series, but it also works great for any vMix or PTZ Optics or uh, ATEM slash uh, PTZ co uh, configuration. So that is, uh, in a nutshell, how the E21 TVS interfaces with vMix and PTZ Optics and you kind of get an idea how it works with other networkable products that Scarhoy supports. The E21 is just one of many products that Scarhoy makes, and all of them are capable of interfacing with a variety of cores that they support, whether it's vMix or Blackmagic, uh, Ensemble Designs, Epifan Pearl, PTZ Optics, Sony, Panasonic. They support an extremely wide range of devices that can be interfaced with all via network, and each device is capable of connecting to a variety of different devices simultaneous. So, they make much larger control surfaces than this that can all plug together and they have different kinds of interfaces. This one just happens to be really ideal for the small form factor portability market. If you look at the size of the equipment that we're looking at here, this, all this, including the monitor, the mouse, the camera, the control surface, all fits into an extremely portable flight pack, backpack, um, road case. Uh, it makes rolling up onto your next production extremely easy and affordable. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to me at eric at usbroadcast.co. Thanks.